The way that we're connecting up to our planet scale database right now is we are making a secure connection through our terminal that we saw before where it gives us this local IP address to use and it goes to port 3306 and that gives us a connection over to planet scale. That's configured here. We set that up when we did our pscale login and then our pscale connect. This is the recommended way to connect for development, but at some point you're going to need to pass a connection string somewhere. So when you're in a production environment and you want to set an environment variable, you'll probably need a connection string to point Prisma to the correct location. We can do that over here in planet scale. We can come over to our database and click connect, and that's going to give us this database URL and a connection string. It assumes Node.js. Let's click new password here. And there we go, we've got a username and a password. We can click to copy the database URL. Let's come over to the application and we'll just replace what we've already got, that full line. So now we've got a connection string, it uses MySQL, we've got our username and our password, and it goes to the correct spot in this hosted environment on psdb.cloud. So that's where PlanetScale is hosted. And then we've got our connection to PlanetScale Prisma, that's our database. Now this isn't going to work quite yet with Prisma and we'll see why in just a sec, but let's first save that. And next we'll do npm run dev to try to get that database query to go. We had that query here in server.ts. We're looking for customers, which is a call to customer find many. So let's try to run that. When we do, what we get is this error message. And if we scroll up a bit here, what we see is we've got it says server does not allow insecure connections. Client must use SSL slash TLS. And what's happening here is we haven't specified the certificate authority to use when we are connecting to PlanetScale. We've got this query param here, which specifies some configuration for SSL. We're rejecting unauthorized connections. And the reason that we're failing here is we need to specify a certificate from our operating system to use. In some environments and in some drivers that we might use, there's an assumption made about which certificate to use from the system, and that automatically gets picked up and is used. But that assumption is not made here. We need to be explicit about where that certificate is. Why don't we go over to the command line and we can just see quickly where that is. So over in the terminal, let's go into a new session and let's CD into Etsy. We've got a bunch of stuff in there. And one thing that should be in there is an SSL directory, CD SSL, and let's list that. So in here, we've got some more stuff. We've got this first item called cert.pem. And that's what we need to use in our connection to PlanetScale so that PlanetScale can make sure it can trust our connection. So let's remember that path. It was slash Etsy, then slash SSL, and then cert.pem. And let's come over here to the environment file. Let's come to the end of where we are here in our connection string. We can put an ampersand because we're going to append another query param here. And we'll say SSL cert is equal to that path, Etsy, SSL, and then cert.pem. Okay, so let's save that and let's try it out. We'll clear this away, give ourselves a bit more space in case we still get any error, and npm run dev once more. This time we get our data back, so that's perfect. We've got a secure connection to PlanetScale. Now the location of this cert, it's going to differ on different systems depending on what you're using. On Mac here, it's at this path. This is the common path for that certificate but it's going to potentially be in a different location depending on your system. PlanetScale has a really good doc on that and it shows some common locations for these certificates. And it also goes into a lot more detail here about what is going on with certificates, why you need to specify one, and what some of the limitations are if you don't. So I would definitely recommend giving this a read.